let's get this rolling. Let's get started. So get, if you don't have your kettlebell, you'll get a chance to get it in a second. You should have one. If you don't have one dumbbell, anything with a single hand, you use weight. You need something to hold one hand with some kind of weight. So whatever that is, you need to jump the milk if you had to, or water, whatever it is. So get warmed up, just follow how I hold my hands on my hips here, behind my body, behind my butt, above my butt. You're going to lean over, bend the knees a little bit, come up and just extend the hip, push, just lock the hips, and get this stretch in your chest and shoulder and your hip. You're going to hit that about 10 times and follow right along. All right, guys, and while you're warming up, just like with any exercise program, before you start these online workouts, you should be consulting your doctor. If you feel any faintness, dizziness, shortness of breath, or pain, you should stop immediately. All of these videos are for educational purposes only and should not replace the advice of your physician. I will post the entire disclaimer in the chat. Side effects might include diarrhea, <laughs> muscle tension, depression, suicidal thoughts, and all this other crap that you're doing this All right, so as you're doing that, let's get a couple more. Just to make sure, I want to make sure you're getting this the right way. Don't think of arching your back at the top. Think of just opening your hip up and stretching your chest and shoulder. That's your thing here. So don't do all this stuff. We don't want to get there. So just get one or two more. Just to make sure you're getting that. Opening up of your hip and stretching your chest and shoulder. That's all you want. All right, perfect. Next, you're going to take one leg. We're going to be doing a lot of kettlebell up and down. We need to stretch our hips and our shoulders. The two main things from the stretch. So step forward with your right leg. You have me on two screens. One, you should be able to see my entire body, all the way above my hand to my toe, and the other is my face. So if you're going to lock in on one screen, you can go on any screen and pin it. It could be the one that shows the whole body. So you're going to step forward with this one leg, and you're going to reach outside of this. With one hand on the hip, one hand outside your knee, and then just coming together. We're going to alternate reps with a total of just one to three seconds. You decide how long you need to hold. You're just going to reach across to open this hip flexor up. Reach it across, hold it for one to three seconds. Just keep stepping it back and forth. Just turning your body sideways. You don't have to twist all around 180 degrees like an exorcist. Just step back and turn. Just opening the hip up, getting that waist smoother. There's going to be a little bit of twisting later on. <sighs> Breathe it out. As you're going, your head is up, your chest is out, your shoulders are back. Step it back. Boom. Good. Come back up on your feet. You're going to get those shoulders going, our big shoulder circles that we Always should be doing throughout the day to keep them greased up and getting the blood flowing through your shoulders, big blue shoulders. While you're moving your feet, start getting your energy levels up. Get your body moving. Your feet should be moving forward, backwards. Go backwards with your shoulders. Bling them. And now start coming in and out. Having trouble with the audio? audio. Can't hear? Quick, catch it for a quick stretch. Right above your elbow, catch it for a quick stretch. Someone just said they couldn't hear. Someone can help them out, figure out what might be off with that. Stretch it out, stretch your shoulder, fling it, stretch the other side. Boom, fling, and good. You're going to get wide feet. We're going to continue opening up our shoulders, our chest, our hips. So you're going to touch the floor in between your feet. Your feet should be wide and shoulder width. Touch the floor, come up, open your chest up. The next time, you're going to come overhead with your hands overlap. So you're really opening up your upper back and your shoulders. Just pause here to move. Out to the side. Overhead. That overhead one, you should really feel it. It's up in your upper back, your shoulders opening up. Don't crunch your neck. Just pause here to those two. Overhead with your hands overlap. Really open up that upper back and shoulders. Breathe it out as you're coming up. It goes down, get that hamstring stretch to the bottom. You need to hold it for an extra second down there to get that stretch, a little bounce down there, a little bounce, do what you have to do. Open it up, stretch it. What is that? If you experience greatness, dizziness, pain, or shortness of breath at any time, shit, I'm feeling that already. Open it up, breathe it. Good. Now we're just going to go small shoulder circle, a little faster, so now the, the big loose ones we did earlier, those were loose, trying to loose up. Now we're actually trying to tighten them up. So short shoulder circles just to tighten them up and backwards. Because you need to start now stabilizing that shoulder because you're going to be doing some overhead stuff with the kettlebell. And good. We're not going to do a tabletop stretch. You can put your skin on top of the table, but you're going to be standing. So put one hand underneath 
your ankles, you're not pulling it, and just pull this leg up. All the same, all the same sides. So one hand under your ankle, and the other one just lifting this up. You don't want to be on the outside of your foot because then you're bending your ankle and twisting. So you're just right here and stretch. One on the outs outside of your ankle, underneath it, one holding the outside of your foot. And just alternate. So you have a good, deep, hip, loop stretch. So just keep stretching, switching it, side to side. Hold it for as long as you need to. Hold it for one to three seconds, whatever you need. A couple more each side. Take your time on these. Take these serious. Don't just go with emotions on these. Focus in your head on what you're stretching. If you need to stretch, you're stretching specific muscles for the workout that we're about to do. All right, now you're going to go with just your quad stretch. Or quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug. Hold them all for as long as you need to. One or three seconds deep. So quad, hold. The leg is standing on. Make sure it's slightly bent. Switch to the other side. Then up to a knee hug. Knee hug. And knee hug. Keep rotating through those four. Quad, quad, then knee, and knee. All right, so the first round of kettlebells, if you have a lighter kettlebell, use the lighter one. Or if you only have one kettlebell that's kind of a moderate and heavy weight, use a light dumbbell just for this first round if you don't have a lighter one. So I'm going to start with just a 20 pounder. I brought this one over. I was going to use this one. If you see these two, this one's only 15 pounds and looks a lot bigger. So I was going to use this. It looks like I'm using heavy weight, but I'll stick with the 20 pounder. So all we're doing, we have every round, there's four different groups. Every round only has five exercises. So this group is group A, has five exercises. I'm going to walk you through them. We're just doing five reps of each. That's it. But you're not putting the kettlebell down this entire round. Just five of each, just to get us warmed up. Basic stuff. So we're going to start with a double arm swing. So your hips are straight. We're just going five. So I'll do one or two to get started. And now the five starts. One. Whip it. Two. We're all going to stay together. Five. Right away, we're going to stick a little power spot. Hold it right here. You're going to drop down. So we're going to show you one. You're going to drop down. You're going to be apart. Slide your hands. See so my hands are sliding around this from here to here. So just down. One. Down. Two. Modify if you need to. Just step out. You don't have to jump. Last one, good. And if you don't get your five in, you just move to the side. We're all going to switch at the same time. So if you're only on three, if you're on seven, just keep going the next side cycle I'll switch. It's going to be about five. Now it's going to be a double arm swing with a walk. So look, your feet are together. When I step to the right, the feet are going to go apart. When I swing, up and together. Apart, together. Apart, whip it up while I'm doing a lateral walk. It's going to be just five steps. Just a warm up round. And time. Now a power jack. So that power squat we did was going to add an overhead jack. So it's apart, together, apart, together. Now apart at the bottom, together, middle, apart at the top. It's just five. Just warming up. Apart at the bottom, together, right there. Keep bouncing out. Make sure you're apart at the bottom there. And time. Now it's going to do a clock swing. I'm going to get real close so you can see my hands. My hands are not interlocked. They're cupping each other, holding it sideways, right here. Don't interlock your fingers. It's one hand cupping over the other. Feet are shoulder width apart. So you're going to pivot and swing this up. Pivot and swing. A half a clock swing. Just power through the middle. Like you're swinging a cup up low. Whip it through the middle. And time. Very simple. Now we're just going to warm up round of group A for five reps of each. Now we're going to go to group B for five reps of each. Group B is all single arm, so it's going to be twice as long as a set. This is just to get you warmed up. If you still have a light weight, just stick with it to use it to help you get warmed up. So we're going to go single arm swings, only on the right arm. So we're all going to be on the same arm, switching at the same time. About five reps. So see what I'm saying, head up, chest out, squeeze the glutes, right here, whip it up. Whip it, and switch to the left arm, left arm swing. Five. Whip, snap. Breathe it out as you're coming up. Time, right back to the right arm, a clean. Remember these exercises, we're going to repeat them later for 10 of each. A clean now, right up the middle, you're pulling the zipper up, you're moving the jacket. 
Dip down to the legs. Whip it right up to the shoulder rack position. Whip it up. Snap right at the middle. Snap, head up, chest out. One more. And switch clean on the left side. Whip it up. Right towards the center of our body. It's not flipping over the top and bashing my forearm. It's just turning. I'm just steering it, turning the corner. And good, go right back to the right arm. Push press. So now we're starting where we finished for that clean, for that clean. And you see the little dip and punch it straight up in the air. Five times. Little dip. About five. Switch arms, left arm push press. We're gonna go a little slower this round just so you get the next items. Once we repeat all these, we're gonna go much faster because you load the arms. So remember these. Little dip, your legs are helping to float up in the air. All right, right arm, clean to press. We're combining those two. Flip, dip, snap, and push it up. So you're going down, up, down, up. Clean to press, right arm. Don't just make it a curl to press. You want this explosive. You're not just laying on the waist, let me to the side. My hips are back. Straight up. So I'm exploding on this first part, dip, and explode again. It's two short explosions. Left arm. Throw it up. Five on the left. Flip, dip, snap it up. Flip it, dip it, snap. Last one. And fifth exercise is right arm snatch. So the clean to press, you got the top with two counts. Now the snatch, we just whip it up in one count. So in super slow motion, I'll come closer, it's just here. And punching straight up. So it just flips up in one shot. So bring it up as high as you can, just punch through that hole so it's not banging on your forearm. Two more, two more on the right. Snap it up there. Still just warming up. These five reps are just a warm up round. Snap. Whip it. Time, and you can put that down. So that's group B. Five reps. Remember these exercises, it'll be harder to repeat them back through. This is all just considered the practice and the warm up round, because now we're going to go to group C, which is our third and final group for now, and just hit five reps of each. So we're going to hit. These are all going to be alternating reps on this one. We're going to hit five each side. So we're going to start with alternating single arm swings. So whipping it, switching at the top position, right here. Five each side. Squeeze your glutes. Snap it. Keep your head up, your chest out, shoulders back and down. Whip, whip, whip. There it is. Time. We're going to go alternating cleans. So it's a, actually a little easier also you these. You're whipping it up, switch hands, whip it up, switch hands, whatever flow you can get. You need to stop and adjust, or you can just get a flow with it, but don't switch at the bottom position on this one. Switch somewhere in the middle where you have control of your core, or at least here. Don't bend down to switch. So whip it up, switch, switch, then drop, switch, then drop. Going five of each. Time. We're going alternating clean to press. So just right, left, right, left. One rep of each. So clean, flip, dip, punch it up. Switch reps. Switch side. Five each side. So think five each side of these takes a decent amount of time. Imagine once we get to these longer sets, five is just a practice and the warm up and the lightweight. Imagine once we get to the higher reps. And the heavier weight if you have it. Go by each side. Down, flip, dip, snap it up. Down, flip it, dip, boom, punch it up. So one more each side. Last one. And alternating snatch it is the fourth exercise of this round. So bottom to top, snap. Right to the other arm. Find a rhythm that works for you. Just keep your back safe. Just alternating side. Whip it up. Let's go a couple more each. 
One more each right here. One more each. One more right. One more left. Time. Fifth and final exercise of group C is back to that lateral walk with the swing. It's going to be single arm alternating. So my feet are apart. Right arm swing together. Left arm together. Apart with the right together. Apart with the left together. Alternating single arm swing with lateral walk. Five each arm. Breathe it out, raise your abs, head up. Chest out, shoulders back and down, a couple more. Let me see you, keep rolling. Make sure you got your technique. And time. Put them down, so that was group A, group B, and group C for five reps of each. Shake it out, if you need a heavier weight, now's the time to grab it. We're gonna go back to group A, we're gonna hit 10 reps of each on group A. So now is the time to get a heavier weight, or to strip down because you should be getting warmed up. Keep rolling. So get your weight ready. We're going back to group A. This is going to be a lot harder because you should have heavier weight and higher reps. This should be a challenge for you. We good? We ready to roll? Thumbs up. Middle finger, something. We ready to do this? All right, let's go. We're going to start. Back to group A, that's double arm swing. 10 reps. Heavier weight if you have it. Higher reps, heavier weight. Let's do it. 10. Whip. Up to the chest level. About face, neck, chest level. Snap the hips. Squeeze the glutes. Brace the abs. Going to about 10. Time. You're not putting your weight down. You're not putting your weight down. Power squat. So just from here, drop down. Let's do it 10 times. Right from the chest, apart, together, apart. Hands just slide down around that hand, a little bit kettlebells. Head up, chest out, make sure you're dropping into it. Straight and strong. Couple more, couple more, keep rolling. Get your feet apart at the bottom. Don't slump forward. Your head up and chest out. Time. All right, we're going to that double arm swing with the walk. So we're here, feet together. Snap the hip. Whip it up there. Drive, drive. Kick it. Head up, chest out, shoulders back. Don't let your body lean over. Control that. Straight and strong at the top. Head up, chest out. Glutes are strong. Pinch your butt together. Time. That was 10. We're going to the power jack. For 10, don't put your weight down. Apart, together, apart and overhead. Let's do it 10 times. Let's roll. All the way up there. Together, apart at the top. Breathe it out. Brace those abs. We're going to 10. All the way up. Control that weight. Don't let it bash in the face. Don't let it knock your freaking teeth out. One more. Time. Don't put it down. Do not there. Put that weight down. Clock swing. Don't interlock your fingers. Right here. Whip it. Hit it the feet. Whatever direction you're swinging to. Opposite foot leg pivot. Breathe it out. Whip, whip, snap it, head up, chest out, shoulders back and down. Don't let it fling it. You're still in control of it. Keep rolling. You need to see it. Don't flop in the middle. Power through that middle and ride the wave right back up. We're going 10 each side. Two more each side. Arcing all the way up there about eye level. A little higher than parallel to the floor. And time. Now put the weight down. Get ready for group B, which is all that single arm stuff. So put the weight down. Group B has all that single arm stuff. It's going to be 10 reps per exercise per side. So it's going to take a lot longer. Shake those arms out. 
If you don't already need to shake them out, you're not already out of breath. You're not pushing hard enough, maybe not going heavy enough, or not moving fast enough. And if I'm saying five reps, and you're already past five, and we didn't save time, just keep freaking blasting it out. Keep pumping it out. So we got all the single arm exercises coming up. Starting single arm swings. We're all going to start on the right side. Single arm swings. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one. Right arm, single arm swing. Ten each side. Whip it. Squeeze the glutes. Last one. Done. Switch it. Left side, single arm swing. Whip. We're not putting that weight down the entire set. Snap those hips. You can see from the side view. It's a little arm at the waist, my butt's going back. Hinging at the hips, not the lower back. Head up, chest out, time. Right arm, clean. Whip it up. Right up the middle. Breathe. Burst it up. Snap up there. Snap. Strong abs when you're catching that. Brace it. Don't let it chicken wing your arm all the way out to the side. Look, it's close to the center of my body. Look at it the whole time. Right in the center of my body the whole time. Right here. Two more on the right. Switch the left arm. Left arm clean. Do not put that weight down. Whip it up. Snap and breathe. Four more on the left. Use those legs. Nice. Going to push press. I like it. We're cleaning a chair. Basim is cleaning a chair. I like it. Take, to duct tape some books to that chair. Let's go. Push press. Right arm. Do not put your right down. Right arm. Push press. Dip. Punch it up. A little species, a little pump. Two more. Switch left arm. Left arm push press. Challenge yourself. Go. A little dip with the legs. Stay explosive. It's not just a regular shoulder press. Twist the wrist. Punch it in the air. Explode up. Three more on the left. Throw it. Time. Right back to the right arm. Right arm snatch. Finishes off from B for reps of 10. Right arm snatch. Whip it. Snap it up. Explode. All the way up in one count. Don't fling over at the waist at the bottom. You need to hold the ground. One ball, don't lean over at the waist so much. Your head up, chest out. Snap with your hips. And switch. Left arm. Snatch for 10. Finishes the round. Yes, here we go. Whip it up there. Don't lean over the waist. Rebecca, don't put that hand on the leg. Vanessa, don't lean over the waist so much. Your head up. I should be able to see your eyes the whole time. That's how little you should be leaning over the waist. Other hand, put up in your guard if you have to. So you don't put it on your leg. And time. Put the weight down. Shake it out. Stretch those shoulders. Some of those stretches we did in the beginning. Just to stay loose. Open that. You should be stretching that. Push the hip forward to stretch this chest and shoulder. Loose, shake it. We got group C coming up for 10 reps of each. Quick, shake it. If you need a heavier weight, lighter weight, do what you gotta do. Keep it moving. Blood is low. If I see you standing still, or if I see these hands on hips, we're gonna jump right back into the next one. Keep it rolling. You're not already warmed up, already sweating, you are doing something wrong. 
We got the alternating group coming up, group C. Let's do it, group C. It's an alternating single arm swing. So this means 10 each side on alternating. So that's a set of 20 alternating single arm swings. 20 alternating cleans, 20 total, 10 each side. So it's gonna be a long round. Let's do it. Alternating single arm swings. Whip it, switch to the top. Let's go, 10 each side. Snap the hips, squeeze the abs, explode. Don't lean over the waist. Squeeze those glutes. Hinge at the hips. Whip it, whip it, snap, explode. It's a road up there. Couple more. Time. We have the alternating cleans. So bottom half, right to here, whip it up. Let's do it. All same size, one right, one left. Find a rhythm that works for you. Just don't yank on your elbows or your shoulders. Whip it up, switch. So it's a little slower pace around because you have to switch sides, but it's a longer round because it takes time. We're trying to hit every energy system, strength, conditioning, power, speed, cardio, core, upper body, lower body, a little bit of everything, anaerobic, aerobic. We are getting it all with every one of these movements. Make sure that other hand doesn't go on the leg and go down. Find a rhythm that works so we can hit 10 of each. If you feel like you're losing it, throw that kettlebell away from you so you drop on your toes. Who cares? If it falls to the floor, you'll be fine. Switch arms, one and one. Whip it. Time. Alternating clean to press. So it's down, up, down, up. Switch sides, 10 each side. Should take a while. Whip it. I'm watching you. When you're leaning over the waist on that first down, do not slump over like this. Keep your head up, your chest out. See, my spine is straight the whole time. I'm just hinging at the hips to get that momentum to snap that clean. Switch arms. Just want to show you from a side view. Keep it rolling. Alternate sides, 10 each arm. Yes, whip it up there. Snap, flip, dip, snap. One more each side. And bam. Don't put it down. Don't put the weight down. We're going alternating snatches. 10 each side. Just keep switching sides. So right here. Whip, punch it up. Drop down, punch it up. Alternate sides. How we need to get that rhythm going? Figure it out. You can swing with it, swing with it. You have the control and the switch and a smooth transition without yanking your back. Just keep switching side to side. Alternating arms, bottom to top. One shot, one count. I need you to explode up. Please send the arm overhead, Vanessa. Try not to move to the side. Vanessa Williams back in the game. I like it. There you go, Barbara. Whip it up there. But Barbara, not just a straight arm. Don't just straight arm it up like this. It should be here. Boom. It's like unraveling. Bam. So it's snapping up with a bend and a punch through in one shot. You don't want to be doing a straight arm and yank it on your shoulder. Stabilize that shoulder at the top. And time. All right, so you have the alternating single arm swing with the lateral wall. 10 each arm. Switch at the top position. Whatever space you have, snap the hips. 
Feet together. Snap it. Whip it. Snap it. Whip it. Yes. Going 10 for arm. This finishes group C for 10 reps. Keep rolling. I need to see your technique. I need to see you. Make sure you're swinging in between your legs. And you get the hip. Don't round your spine. You need to see that technique. Head up, chest out, back straight. Abs are strong the whole time. Don't slump over the weights. If you're stopping, Diane, don't stay slumped over like that. Stand up straight if you're going to stop for a second. Stand up with good posture, good structure. Stay in there. Yes, yes, couple more. Two more each arm. Two more each arm. We're rolling. And time. And you finish. Group A, B, and C for five and 10 reps each. Put it down, stretch out. Those different stretches we did in the warm up. Continue stretching those. You need them stretched out. Let me show you a quick stretch. It looks like not a stretch, but here, check this out. Awesome for your hips and lower back during a kettlebell workout. Lay on your stomach. Just put your forearms on the floor. Turn your toes and knees out with your feet about shoulder width apart. Not even up on your hands. You don't need to go on your hands. Let's extend too much. We don't want to stretch too much. We're just keeping your hips open and your lower back open. We don't want to do all that yoga, tree hugging, doggy, doggy style, whatever, cat pose, whatever it's called. I don't know what that shit is called. We don't want to do any of that stuff. We're just opening your hips up. Turn your knees and toes outward to open those hips and stretch your lower back. It starts to be too much. Just ease down flat for a second. Recover. And then back to the floor. That's it. Just kind of dig your fist and elbows into the floor. Just to get that hip extension. We don't want to get a whole lot of stretch yet. It does not recover. We want to keep those hips open and the lower back loose. Because there's good news and there's bad news. Good news is you already completed two of the three times we're going through from C, B, and C. The bad news is this third round is now. It's going to be 15 reps of each. It's going to suck. It's going to be brutal. But you are going to figure it out and you're going to make it happen with technique. So we've already done all three groups for five or 10 reps. You know what it feels like. You know the exercises. So at this point, you can judge which way you need to use. So we're going 15 reps of everything. So on that single one stuff, that means 15 reps per exercise per side. Same with the alternate. That means a set of 30 total all of the same single arm 15 per exercise per side. Thumbs up, we good, we cruising, we roll, we ready to run. Let's do this. Get your way. Start with group A. You should be trying to trip the sweat out there. Do not need to push the pace a little harder. It's time to push more. I'm already soaking wet just showing you this stuff. Double arm swing, group A. Double arm swing. And go, 15. Snap the hips, squeeze the toes, brace the abs, stand up tall on the top, just load up, tight, drill down, whip the hips. Time, we got the power squat for 15, so we're here. You already know these exercises by now. Apart, together, apart, let's roll. Head up, chest out, knees drop down there. Don't wear out yourself in the teeth. Because you're flinging that thing up there pretty strong. Keep rolling, keep rolling. You just sit back on your hips and heels. Keep going, you got three, four, three, four, four. Keep kicking it. Time. Double arm swing. With the walk. 15 swings. Here. Lateral walk. Snap it up there. Nice wide step. When your feet come together, weight goes up in the air. Find the rhythm, find the flow. Don't let that weight yank you down there. Don't round your back to the bottom. Get a little knee bend, plus hinging over at the waist, at the hip, so you can drive your hips. Squeeze your glutes as you come up. 15 each side. A few more, or 15 total. Time. 
Power Jack, don't put your weight down. Don't put your weight down. Power Jack, that's apart at the bottom, together in the middle, apart, together, apart, go, we're rolling. Boom, let's do it. Pump that out. I need you to pump it out. Full speed, apart at the bottom, your head is up, your chest is out. But listen, don't lean over the waist when you come down too much. Just don't lean over the waist too much. Look, keep your head up. There you go. It's like a deep power squat. Same thing when you go overhead, don't arch your back. Apart. Together, apart, together. Boom. We're rolling. Two more. Time. Last one. You're already at the last exercise for group A for 15 reps. That's a clock swing. We're going 15 per side. Let's roll. Pivot the feet. Whip it. Brace your abs. I need to see your technique on these. Up to about shoulder level. Like a golf club. I've only been playing golf twice. And both times I was playing golf, I got kicked off the golf course. Can't imagine why. Whip it. Power through the middle. Don't slump over at the waist. Head is up, chest out. Your whole body turns to the side. Whole body needs to turn sideways. It's 180 degree of movement. Three more each side. Three, two, one more each. Time. And you've completed group A, 15 reps. Shake those arms out, shake them out. Your hands should be all sweaty and slimy. Do what you gotta do so that kettlebell doesn't go flying out of your hand. We have a long round coming up. This is a single arm swing. Single arm clean, single arm push press, single arm clean to press, and single arm snatch coming up. So that's 15 per exercise per arm. So that's 15 times five, 75 times two, 150 reps you're about to do in this next set without putting the kettlebell down. 150 freaking reps. Shake it out, make sure you're ready. It's gonna be a long round, it's gonna be a hard round. Stretch the upper, stretch the lower. You need to lay on the floor again to open those hips up and loosen up your lower back. Just don't overstretch it. We're still actively, dynamically stretching because we still got a lot of work ahead of us. We're barely, just getting started. We're only nine minutes past the halfway mark. See if any of you can figure out what time that means. We'll pump it out, push it, shake it. Keep that blood flowing. Keep that energy level up. Keep banging away. Still got a lot to get to. All right. Let's roll, kettlebell. Oh, listen. On this 15 round set, we're gonna go reverse order. So since it's a much harder round, we're gonna do the harder exercise first. So we're gonna go exercise five to one. So it's gonna be snatch, clean to press, push press, clean, and then single arm swing. So we'll get the harder, heavier overhead ones out of the way first, because it's a real long set. You don't wanna be doing the hard overhead stuff when you're fatigued and tired. So we're gonna do it first while you're fresh in this round. So we're gonna go hardest, easiest. We're gonna reverse order on that. Thumbs up if you got that. Because it's gonna be a different order, perfect. So we're starting with snatch. Right arm, snatch, for this group B. 15 per exercise per arm. Right arm in three, two, one, and boom. There it is. Whip it up. 150 reps starts right now. Smack it up there. Not easy stuff. I'm gonna do the entire range with you. With my heavier weight. I'll still be talking to you and watching you, but keep that technique. But I want to suffer with you, because this shit is fun. <sighs> Whip it up there, snap, explode. Straight body, strong glutes, strong abs. And I'm yapping, so I have no clue what number we're we on. So who cares, we're gonna keep rolling. It's the hardest one first. Reverse order, switch, left arm, snatch. 15 on the left, rip it. We're not putting the weight down for 150 straight reps. Fight through this. Modify before you have to stop. Die before you freaking quit. 
Let's do it. Six. Seven. Whip it up there. Slow. Go to 15. Left arm. Five more. Yeah, whip it up. Two more. Snap. Brace of that. Yes. One fifth of the way there. 30 reps down. Right arm clean to press. Not put the weight down. Clean to press. Use that momentum or you're never going to make this happen. Don't just muscle up there. Whip, dip, and whip it back up. Stack it up. Breathe it out. Five down, ten to go on the right arm. Two little bursts of air. One's in the bottom. One's on the top. Five more. Right arm. Clean the press. Yes. Final two. Get it up there. Push through. Stabilize that arm. Strong shoulder. Woo! Left arm. 15. Clean the press. We're rolling. Punch it up there. Flip, dip, snap it up. Flip, dip, snap it up. Five down, ten to go. We're going hardest, easiest things. Exercise will get easier. Let's go a few more. You're almost there. Five more. Last two. Hold your ground, coming over the waist. Don't cave in. Stand up tall. Don't put the weight down. Fight it. Fight the urge with that weight down. Right arm. Push press. 15. Right here. Push press. Use the momentum here. Use some speed. So it's a dip each time. Let's roll. We're going fast. Use your legs. Total body exercise. Just tighten up your core. Switch arms. Oh, yeah. I need you to pump these out. You need some speed on this. Get a rhythm. So it's dip, punch, dip, punch, dip, punch. Five more. Push through. Kick it. Explode up. Finish strong. Time. Don't put it down. I know you want to. Do not put it down. Right arm clean. Coming up. Whip it up. Right here. Bottom half. You got this. 15. Let's roll. Breathe out. Whip it up. Explode it up. Yes. Extended arm at the bottom. Right to that shoulder right at the top. Let's go five more on the right. Melissa, don't start leaning off the waist too much. That's good to see your eyes the whole time. While well, Pablo, looking at the upper back straight, go around there. See if I can hear. See the upper back straight. Switch arms. Left arm clean. Let's do it. Whip. Explode up there. Some speed. Some pump. It's not so bicep for us. It's an explosive movement. Yes. Josephine, let your legs help out a little more. A little more explosive. Don't rely on that right arm on your leg. Whip it. Four more. Whip it. Last one. 
Time, you're not putting down. Last one. You're 120 reps in. You only got 30 reps to go. Right arm, single arm swing, 15 reps. You're not out of breath, you're doing something wrong. Whip it, hips, hips move. Squeeze the glutes together. Hit your butt cheeks together. 10 more. Last four. Head up, chest out. Shoulders are level. And left arm. Right and stride. Twist and flow. Twist and flow. We don't need to stop. One down swing. 15. Final 15 reps. Get into 150. Hinge at the hips. Whip it up there. Two more. Let's roll. Five more. And time. Shake it out. You made 150 reps on that set without putting the damn weight down. Nice freaking work. Shake it out. We are rolling. So we got group C coming up. No, sorry, group C only got done twice. Because we have group D to get into. So we're going to group D coming up. A group we haven't done yet. Group C, we are not doing it for 15. Because we got enough of the cleans, the swings, cleans and presses, snatches. We're going to the new group, the final group, group D. Shake it out, stretch those hips, stretch those shoulders. If you're just standing still, that tells me you're ready to roll. You should not be ready to roll. If you're ready to roll, you were bullshitting and you did not push hard enough. You need to go all out, push the face. All right, so group D is going to be sit up to press, flutter kick, chest press, sit up, pull over, and flutter kick to press. I'll walk you through them. We're going to play the same game. We're going to do just five of each for the practice round. So get your kettlebell. If you have a lighter one, you want to one, use a lighter one for this one, or whatever. So you're on your back on the floor, sit up position, weight at your chest. Grab it from the horns, and you're just going to sit up and push it straight up in the air. Control down. Don't slam down. We're only doing five. This is the practice round with this group. Let's do it. Five. Sit up. Push up. Control down. Slow movement. <sighs> sit up and press. Knees are bent. Feet are flat on the floor. Push straight up in the air. Keep it driving. Make sure you're lowering yourself down when you're coming down. Drive up, breathe it out, push it up. Time. Are you going flutter kicks? All you're doing is roll the weight straight up in the air. Five each leg, that's it. Ten total. Easy stuff. Pump that, pin the lower back to the floor. Time. You're going to transition right to presses from your chest with your feet up in the air and just presses, not a sit up. Just five chest press, easy stuff. Feet up in the air though. Time. Next one's going to be a sit up to a pullover. Sit up to pullover. So you're going to tap the weight overhead on the floor with the handle. Come up, tap in between your legs in the middle. Down slow, tap the floor, tap the floor. So the elbows have a slight bend. Bend as much as you need to. You're not reaching over overhead. You're just touching it right along the top of your head on the floor. Sit up to pullover. Ass tight the whole time. Control down. Just going to five. And last exercise, flutter kick with press. We're counting the presses, just five. So kicking, full speed, two, three, four, five. That is our final kettlebell cardio or kettlebell core round, five of each. So now we're just gonna hit 10 of each of those. Start, starting with that, sit up the press. You'll need a break after that, because that round was a joke. That was only five. So sit up the press. For 10, sit up, back is straight, abs is strong, and push up the strong shoulders. 
Control down. Go to 10. Go. Resist down. Drive it up. Resist. Throw it up there. Control down. Don't just drop on the floor. You're going to bring you back. You need to resist you down when you're coming down there. And reach straight up in the air. Control down. The way down should be twice as slow as the way up. Don't slam your back on the floor. You should be your abs lowering your back down. Two more. Two more. I'll tell you when you're at 10. And time. We're going flutter kicks. On the weight straight up in the air. It's 10 per leg. Three, two, one, go. 10 per leg. Pin your lower back to the floor. Pump that out. Rip that weight though. Brush your abs. Don't just go through the motions. Constantly squeeze your chest, your shoulders, your abs. Press your lower back to the floor. Time. Right into that press. Chest press for 10. We're going for speed. The beat straight up in the air. Chest press. Fast pace. It's quick. Time. Sit up and fall over. Knees bent. Tap the floor. Tap the floor. Your back and spine is totally straight. Elbows are bent the whole time. Your arms are not extending. You're bent the whole time. Right in between your legs. Control down. Go to 10. Find a flow, find a rhythm that works for you without bouncing. Control down, resist. Two more. Last one. Time. And you're going to flutter kick to press. You count the presses while you flutter kick. Ten presses. Go. And time. Shake it out. Recover. We just have 15 of each of those to finish off. So just stand up, just get out of that position, extend your hips, stretch your hips out. That's a lot of hip bending there. Some of those stretches we did in the beginning, stretch them, loosen it up, getting ready. One more round on your back for 15 each. Done. Easy day. The rest of the day is going to be easy from here. And Larry, look what we used. One little piece of equipment, one little four foot, five foot amount of space, not even. You worked every single muscle in your body. You worked your strength, your conditioning, your cardio, your core, your balance, your coordination, everything in a short amount of time. Small amount of space, little to no equipment. Let's do it, 15 of each. Sit up to press. Three, two, one, we're rolling. Boom, press it up in the air. 15. Drive it up there. Push up. Bam. You see that back is straight, you're coming down. Don't let it round down there. Yes, drive it up there. Fully extend the arms. Think of it as sit up and straight press up in the sky. Your back and spine needs to be straight the whole time, even when you're coming down. You're resisting on the way down. That way down should be the hardest part of the set. Lower your back down because you're resisting. It's like a negative motion. Control. That's where the real work is on this set. Just lower your back down. There we go. Now I'm seeing it. Think about that. Connect your mind to the movement, to the muscle. You're going to get 10 times more work done in every minute. You connect it. And really focus on what the hell you're doing. A few more, a few more, two more. Even if you got 15, you keep rolling, so we're gonna stop at the same time. And time, what are kicks? 15 each leg, just hold that weight straight up in the air. Pump it. Pump it out, dig it, kick it, press the lower back into the floor, blast it, full speed, keep driving. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Chest press, feet straight up in the air. Right away, no break. This is easy. 15, five more, five, four, three, two, one, time. 
You have to sit up to pull over. Coming up. Sit up to pull over for 15. Remember? Elbows bent. Tap the floor. Tap the floor. Control down. Back straight. Sit up and pull over. Add strong, tight, lowering down. That's where the real work is. That negative resistance coming down. Fight your body weight. Fight the momentum where it wants to come crashing down. Pull it over. Tap the floor. Overhead. Tap the floor between your legs. Keep it rolling. Go to 15. I need you to stay straight in your back. I need you to come down slow. Every single one. Not just once in a while. Everyone needs to come down slow. Don't want to screw it. Three more, three more, three more. Keep the back straight. Keep constant tension on your core. Back straight, strong abs. One more, one more, last one. Pull it up and tap. Time. Flutter kick with press. We're counting 15 presses, kicking your leg as fast as you can. And go. Pump, press, and flutter kick. Five more, we're done. Press your arm back to the floor. Three, two, one, time. We are done. Roll right over onto your stomach. Get that same stretch we did earlier. Roll over to your stomach. Get your feet about shoulder width apart. Turn your knees and toes outward. You need to open up those hips. Press your fists and your elbows, your forearms are parallel to each other. Press them into the floor. And just lift your chest a little bit. Press your hips into the floor. Press your elbow and fist into the floor and your hips. Just to open up that lower back. You should feel a release right away. That should feel good right after that. On your hips. And your lower back. Hold for five more seconds. Big deep breathing. Your recovery process starts right now. And roll over onto the back. Cross your right leg over your left. Take both hands and just pull your left leg back. Right there. If you're feeling good with it, take your right elbow and push it inside your right thigh to open that up even more, that hip. While you're stretching that, just press out with your right elbow on the inside of your right thigh to really open up that right glute and right hip. Do tons of cleans and presses and lunges and squats, whatever, not lunges, the snatches. Ease out of that stretch. Extend both legs. Just let your hips loosen up. Arms overhead, lock down to the floor. Loosen up your spine, your neck, your shoulders, your back, your hips, your legs, your feet, your toes, your freaking eyebrows. Everything loose and just lock to the floor. Big deep breath into your nose. Two or three seconds into your nose. Hold it. Out your mouth, two or three seconds. Bend, bend your right leg, cross your left leg over your right. Take both hands, pull your right leg back. Secure that stretch into place. Take your left elbow, push it on the inside of your left thigh. And pull it back even more to stretch that left glute and hip. Breathe, control. Slowly ease out of it. Arms straight out to your sides. Open up your shoulders. Open up your chest. And just pull one arm straight across, right, right above your elbow, and stretch that shoulder. Big deep breaths. Recovering already. Get blood flow and nutrients right to those muscles you just beat up. Open up that chest. Big deep breath. Arms out to your side. Let it out. Grab the other shoulder. Grab the other elbow to stretch the other shoulder. Straight across. Hop up onto your feet. Come up on the camera. Have, unmute yourself. Did you have any questions? Any comments? Need help with anything? Need help with any exercise? Need help with any nutrition? Now is the time. So I need help. Also, don't forget, 
If you have family members, friends, neighbors that need to get their shit together and need to start getting on an exercise program, please send them, forward the links. And you see our post we're doing. Do a quick post of yourself, a video when you check in. Make sure you're checking in for charity. We're still donating to charity. But we need you to please spread the word to get some of your friends and family members of cohort on a free week or even upgrade to 21 days for $21 so they can continue to be ongoing members. Because unlike, unlike most businesses, we are trying to keep all of our employees working and paid. And that only happens if we can continue to spread the word. So I ask you to please spread the word because obviously we've had a lot of people that freeze and cancel out of the gym during this time because they have uncertainty and they think they're going to wait it out. But this is not going anywhere, anywhere, anytime soon. So this is what we have, and, and I, I, I'm getting in the best shape of my life doing that home workouts with all of you. So there's no reason anyone else in the world can either. So we want to avoid what all these, all other, especially small businesses are going through. You see in Rockland County, small businesses are shutting down left and right. All their employees are on unemployment, who then can't even get unemployment because it's impossible to get. So please, we're asking you to spread the word, send it to your friends, your family members, send a quick video review right after the workout right now. Hop on Facebook, put a link to one of our 21 days or a free week. And keep this thing rolling so we can keep doing this and even eventually start adding even more classes and even providing more service to you so we can just keep kicking ass. Can I get a thumbs up on that? Yes, thank you. We need your commitment on that. Appreciate it. Anyone have any questions or comments? You need help with anything on your nutrition on anything? I do. I need I need help with uh, good back stretching exercises because my back is tighter than tight. All right, I'm trying to look for where the voice is coming from. I can't see on my squares. It's Diane. Diane, me. Diane Colazar. Oh, there she is. Now you turn green. Perfect. <laughs> Back stretches is everything we really what we did today because all this kettlebell stuff. That's why we did it. Literally laying on your on your back the way I mean on your stomach the way we did to open up your hips. Usually your back is not from your back. You're not feeling the pain from your back. You're feeling pain from something else that's tight, either a hamstring or a hip. So focus on like those hamstring or those hip flexor stretches that we did to loosen up. Because usually, rarely anyone has a, a, a tight lower back. It's tight because of something else. Sometimes you could have literally a bad shoulder, and that causes you could have a bad right shoulder, and that will cause you to have a tight lower left back because the way you're moving and adjusting and sitting and driving and working to adjust for your your shoulder ends up giving you a back problem. I've literally seen people who have had shoulder problems that led to an ankle problem on the opposite side because of just the way you are. So focus on your structure, your posture, keep your core, work on your core strength a little more, all the just basic simple planks and stuff you do, but also your technique like on the kettlebells. If you slop over just a little bit, it's gonna kill you. Also this stuff on the floor, all the stretches you do on the floor with all these knee hugs, all this stuff, these rotations here, the green stretch strap, which I did before we came on here. If you go on the VIP page on the portal, it's a full, video with these. So you're strapping it around your foot. Even just doing this and stretching is going to help the bone back. With this leg bent, so I'll do every workout. I'll do five with this the opposite leg bent and then five more with this straight because it opens up your hips a little bit different. So usually a lower back is not a lower back problem. It's something else. It's probably somewhere in your hips or hamstrings. So continue to stretch or, like or knee. Exactly. So you're not I think lower back. Lower back is and modify stuff. Don't be a knucklehead and, and modify some stuff. <laughs> I know you're a freaking knucklehead too, so. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> like you're probably already scheduled for like a quarantine spark race or some shit like that. They do have them. <laughs> and so you out, they send a bunch of people with a virus, you have to outrun them so you don't get it. Spark race. That's some shit you would do and then you wonder why your back is tight. <laughs> but yeah, work on your hamstrings, your hips, Strengthening up your core is all going to help you out. It's all usually stretching other stuff around it. It's stretching and strengthening the muscles surrounding the pain, the pain you have usually. When you have a shoulder problem, you're going to strengthen up your upper back. You're going to strengthen your triceps, your biceps. That's going to help the pain. Working the muscles around it usually will support it until it, until it gets better. Anyone have any other questions about nutrition, workouts, modifications, anything? If not, let's jump in for our quick picture with your flex. You got to get your flex on. Where did, where did we lost some, some cameras there. Whatever. Got to get your flex on. Three, two, one. Squeeze tighter. Time. Good. Nice. 
Don't forget, check in the charity. Please share the post. Whenever you see our stuff, just share it. Get it out to your friends. Tag everyone you know in those posts to keep spreading the word. There are people out there that need this now more than ever to help boost their immune system, to speed up their metabolism, to get in the right mindset, the right mind frame. These people are, are really screwed up out there right now. They need something like this to keep them positive, keep them motivated, keep them moving while they're stuck in the house. There's so many ways that this could happen. There's so many options now with all these classes we have online, with the portal, with the Facebook, with the Zoom. There's no excuse for them not to do it and to sit out and wait because this is not changing anytime soon. So thank you for that. Did I hear someone say something? I thought I heard someone saying something. Maybe not. Probably one of them voices in my head. All right. If nothing else, if you need anything, just send me a private message anytime or give a call. If you need some help, we can hop on the phone and talk about it. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have an awesome Good day. Later. Bye, Vanessa. Bye, Ripke. Bye, Justine. Okay. Bye, Barbara. Bye, Mark. Bye, Diane. Bye, Rosim. Bye, Steve. Bye, Eva. Bye. Bye, Alex. Have a great day.